Yeah, we're super excited. We've been looking forward to this call all week. Um, I'll just get this kicked off and started right away. Let me make sure we're recording. Uh, I want to welcome everybody to the call tonight. I know we usually do our calls uh, Wednesday at noon, Mountain Time, 2 o'clock Eastern, but we were super excited to have the opportunity to have Darren, so we adjusted our schedule to be able to adapt and be here with Darren tonight. So um, I, from my understanding, we have about 30 minutes with Darren. We, we want to respect his time, so I'm not going to talk a whole bunch, but I want to give him a quick introduction before we uh, let him take it over and, and answer some questions that we've submitted to him, share any part of his story, any knowledge that he wants to with us. But I've met Darren a few times at uh, Beachbody events. I'll just give you a little bit about him so you can understand. He is the creator of Shakeology, uh, the visionary of Shakeology, I guess you could say, and also uh, of the brand Super Life. He's the author of the book, The Super Life, um, which is an amazing book. I got it when it first came out, and I've read that book. He's, he's known uniquely throughout uh, the health and nutrition uh, and wellness community as an exotic superfood expert, um, and like he's the guy coined and named as the superfood hunter. So I love watching his videos, uh, the videos that I've seen on YouTube of him out discovering uh, new superfoods and, and understanding how they can help us, how they can help uh, heal the body. Uh, and that's just been his passion. It's his interest uh, ever since uh, I believe a college football injury drove him into wanting to understand how to heal his body. And from there, that's where he wanted to learn to use uh, Western medicine treatments, or after uh, Western medicine treatments had failed to address um, the healing that he needed to go through, um, he really went out and studied and changed his whole course of uh, his study in college and, and has gone on to what we know now um, after 20 plus years of traveling and, and studying superfood and, and nutrition uh, to become the, the, the man that he's been Shakeology, I, you'll have to remind me, but I believe it's been probably nine years or so uh, since Shakeology came out. He'll, he can share with you guys exactly how long it's been here. But my personal uh, love for Shakeology is, uh, man, I've had two today. I had a tropical vegan for breakfast, and I was just craving something in the afternoon and had a chocolate vegan. Uh, and I've been using Shakeology. I haven't missed a single day in over six and a half years. Of, of drinking the shake that, that Darren has uh, created. So with that being said, Darren, I'm going to pass the time over to you and just let you share your wisdom and knowledge with us tonight. Thank you, Scotty. Appreciate that. Uh, <clears throat> you, you, hit, you hit all the major marks there. Uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> you know, I, I, I think before I jump in the questions, I'll just say this, uh, a couple things. And, you know, my, my desire, my need – um, and, and it turned into my purpose. Uh, <clears throat> my DNA is about, um, uh, helping, uh, as many people as possible. Um, but that really only came about because I needed to help myself first. And I think that's an important, uh, distinction, um, because, I was needing some things and therefore I said, I'm not going to just be okay with this. And I started studying and being an advocate for my own uh, education and health. And it turned into my passion. So I've, you know, been in over 35 countries, uh, mountaintops and, and Amazon and all of that stuff, not to have a title of a superfood hunter, but really to take responsibility for using these things because my point of view was if I was going to formulate with these things, if I'm going to ingest them myself and I'm going to tell other people about them and share that with other people then I want to make sure that I know what's going on with them, uh, learn about how they use them culturally. Um, and, uh, and, and many of these uh, ingredients that are in Shakeology have been used for thousands and thousands of years by, uh, Ayurveda and the traditional Indian uh, uh, natural healing mechanisms and also traditional Chinese medicine. So there's a lot that goes into these, this cacophony of Shakeology that just kind of shows up in a pretty bag on your doorstep. There's a, there's a, a lot of testing uh, that goes into making sure that what isn't supposed to be there isn't. Um, 
the you know our toxic world these days uh, and also the active compounds of what's supposed to be in each ingredient um, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into that uh, I may have started it um, but Beachbody's R&D team and quality assurance team is continuously on a day-to-day -day basis making sure that that shake is fantastic and one of the best in the world. So I just want to say that because there's a lot of great people. I just got off the call with a, our research and development team, Richard Andrew and, and Mike Wilson, and these guys are kicking butt. Uh, and they're, they're in the DNA of like the DNA of Beachbody and the people doing the work is super important or else a product like this couldn't continue to be because it's so complicated. So anyway, um, I'll jump into these questions. These are some heavy, big questions. Uh, I appreciate it. They're just, they're just big. So I'll do the best I can to give you a little snippets of uh, information, um, but just know that I can't fully answer some of these questions because they're, they're like the full workshop. But, um, but uh, the first question I got was, when someone gets super bad cramps almost right away, even with a half a serving or they down served some of those uh, with Shakeology, uh, what is happening? Uh, and is that a type of intolerance or allergic reaction? Great question. So I can't answer this question without bringing up uh, a topic that is uh, all throughout uh, the culture of us eating. Um, uh, largely intolerances don't have an, they're, they're happening on a, an alarming rate right now. So <clears throat> when someone reacts to Shakeology, my first thought is, oh, they're compromised. Now I'm not saying as a blanket statement, legitimately people can have aller allergies intolerances to all kinds of foods and i'll get into some of the reasons why that is but um so you have to respect where you're at uh usually what's been happening is you have 25 to 45 million people just in the united states and i think that's underreported in terms of diagnosis but people who are suffering from irritable bowel syndromes that could be Crohn's lupus uh, uh, colitis all of these types of things are just another way of saying you have inflammation of the gut uh, many things are happening and you don't even know it right unfortunately two out of three of those people suffering from gut issues are women uh, and there's some link to uh, almost the guy's iron gut that probably from our ancestors, we could just kind of eat whatever and keep moving on. And women, because of hormonal, a, a lot of hormonal shift, obviously on a monthly basis, there's some sensitivities there. But so I have to bring this up because when, understand that when inflammation is high in the digestive system, uh, really the, the outside here, the food that we have, and once we ingest it, once that goes to the digestive system, it's supposed to break things down into the smallest parts, right? So you has to be on a cellular level. The whatever protein you take in, the body has to be efficient at breaking it down into amino acids. The amino acids then go through the, the gut lining, which is by the way, one cell thick. One cell basically allows what is out here in your body so can you imagine then that if if one cell of a lining to be absorbed into the body and absorbed in the bloodstream is compromised uh, then it can cause a whole host of issues so <clears throat> there's many people that are suffering from irritable bowel syndrome i would just say inflammation of the digestive system when that's happening that could be stress, that could be over or under the counter drugs of any kind, um, that could be uh, uh, exposure and sugary foods and processed foods, 10 years of that, you don't even know it's happening. Once the digestive system is off, your ability to break down uh, many things is continuing to be compromised. 
especially when you're taking in things that your body has to work really hard to do and, and break down, you know, uh, flesh of another animal and meat and dairy and fish and eggs, all of that stuff is hard for the body to break down. So if it's compromised, it's going to be increasingly causing infl inflammation. So obviously this is a very big topic. And I bring this up because if someone is taking in Shakeology and of course this is an, an individual basis. So it's hard to answer these things from a broad perspective So I have to actually take a broad perspective to answer it appropriately and that is once someone Takes this in and they're having a reaction like that I would bet from my professional opinion that those people, I can't say for that individual, but those people are have a compromised digestive system. And their list of things that they're able to eat without having a reaction, whether small or large, is only increasing until they deal with the inflammatory um, uh, disturbance that's going on in their body. The last thing I will say, because this is a, a, obviously a very big topic, it's probably not the last thing I'll say about it, but uh, one, one thing that is just now starting to come out, it's less about, you know, processed food is just bad, right? So we all know that. Um, and that can cause a whole host of chronic issues. Uh, and if you do that over time, definitely can cause issues. But there's something that's even more insidious. And that is since 1970s, they used this thing called glyphosate. Uh, these are my opinions, not Beachbody, but the question was answered, asked, so I'm, I'm kind of stepping into this area. Um, glyphosate is a main uh, active compound in pesticides and herbicides, ready roundup stuff. Now, it's growing evidence that this stuff destroys beneficial bacteria. It causes inflammation. There's all kinds of disruptions that this causes. So I say that because if we've been exposed in normal, conventional, now what's normal and conventional of, of, of uh, food production, um, you're having uh, hundreds of millions of tons uh, of pesticides thrown on our food. It is and conti will continue to cause disruptions in our digestive system. So I say that because it's important for us to get how important it is to be aware of that. Because if you're just looking at, oh, I can't eat that, I can't eat that, I can't eat that, that's not, that's not getting at the cause of some of this digestive system. So, so the bottom line is that <clears throat> obviously start looking up and doing things and not getting yourself exposed to pesticides and herbicides. Don't gamble thinking that just because you're at a nice restaurant, just because this package or this bottle or this uh, uh, pretzel or Pringle or all that stuff has your best interest in mind, that those things can cause some severe digestive issues. Whereby, when you take something in like Shakeology, you have a, you have a, a, a reaction that's not good in the sense that your body is compromised. So these super nutrients that are trying to get in your body uh, can't really get in. It's happening on a small scale all the time, uh, but when you're kind of hit with prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, um, all the phytonutrients, you're getting hit with some incredible nutrients. So, so anyway, it's a big question, um, and I would say if people are having an adverse reaction, they should definitely reach out find a functional medicine doctor, a naturopathic doctor, or an MD that has significant nutritional training um, so that you can start actually healing without drugs. Um, so that's my point of view. Uh, like I said, it's a big topic. One day I can get into it and do a longer thing, but just, just uh, understand that it's not just about reacting to some of these great botanicals it's about some underlying issues okay so uh instead of saying uh 15 minutes on each question <laughs> i'll try to move on okay so uh next question is um how to incorporate uh 
these products, our products, uh, this is another big question, uh, with uh, which, uh, uh, how to incorporate our products and which with others to add to Shakeology to help older women with menopause symptoms uh, since it becomes a whole uh, ball game trying to increase energy, fight weight loss, all that stuff. So basically, the question is asking, what do we do with people who are entering into menopause because they're fighting all kinds of weight gains, they're fighting hormonal shifts, they're fighting energy, they're fighting sleep, they're fighting all of these things. Number one is, from a lifestyle perspective, do the best thing you can to get sleep, uh, drink good water, make sure that water is uberly filtered uh, so you're not getting exposed to those, um, uh, all those chlorines and fluorides and contaminants. Um, <clears throat> But the, some of the biggest things is we really need to stay away from these lifestyle exposures of uh, PFCs, PFCAs, all of these pl from plastics, all of these um, uh, types of compounds that are uh, e estrogen mimickers. Um, and it's happening, uh, you know, as, as the, the girls growing up, are hitting um, puberty at, uh, at ages of nine, 10, 11, um, because of these estrogen uh, endocrine disruptors in our environment. So the biggest thing is with women to support them in menopause and going through these things, obviously from an adaptogenic point of view, Shakeology has some incredible building blocks to help mitigate and regulate the body right so if you want to do if you want to blow your own mind uh if you wouldn't mind uh receiving a little homework five minutes pick one of the adaptogens pick ashwagandha astragalus uh shizandra cordyceps rod uh well rhodiola rhodiola is in the boost um uh, maca, pick one of those, spend five minutes on looking at the benefits of those things, right? And it will blow your mind. So we have an, an incredible group of adaptogens that are helping your body, your body deal with a lot of stress. What are, what are adaptogens? Adaptogens are not compounds that force your body into something. Uh, it, it helps mitigate and regulate the body per a body's own need. Right, so if I take an adaptogen, I will receive benefits different than say the person next to me because those compounds in say maca or shizandra uh, are there within the plant, helping the plant survive and deal with stress. But that great synergy that we have with plants and the human kingdom, uh, those adaptogens help that body. So of course. Um, I've helped women on menopause and uh, adaptogens are huge. Uh, so look those up. And then of course, you can get with your functional medicine doctors and even uh, find levels of adaptogenic herbs that potentially help you out more. But the very, very important thing is be careful of uh, uh, you know, uh, that nonstick surfaces of cooking wear. Um, uh, stay away from products with like uh, stain guard, uh, uh, you know, the petrochemicals they use as anti-fire uh, retardancies on furnitures, on carpets. Um, all of these things are massive endocrine uh, uh, hormonal disruptors. So the best thing you can do is stay away from those types of things. Stay away from consuming um, all of us, not just women on menopause. The good thing about natural health is uh, when you do these things, they help anybody, right? So especially the sensitivity of exposure over a lifetime, make sure to uh, not expose yourself to uh, plastics, uh, eating food out of plastic, uh, uh, having food with heat in it or with plastic, uh, water bottles. I know it's extremely difficult, um, but make sure you're having a good home filter system and take water in glass whenever you can control it. So again, 
big topic, but Shakeology, obviously, I can't say uh, because I'm not a medical doctor and I'm not treating someone individually, but the adaptogenic blends, the balanced um, kind of filling the gaps of phytonutrient, micronutrient um, idea for us of formulating this thing is, is super good for the foundation of anybody and certainly uh, a woman going through menopause. So um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, again, it was a big, it's a big thing, but you know, things like um, uh, house cleaners, right? Stay away from those chemical uh, house cleaners. Hell, baking soda and uh, uh, vinegar is a age old, powerful cleansing uh, uh, agents that can save yourself from a toxic exposure in your own home. You know that we get more toxic exposure inside our house than we actually do outside. So you want to uh, mitigate that as much as possible. Okay, so let me see here. Number three, um, what if any uh, adaptogenic question? So what if any other adaptogens can be added how much and how often would I suggest? Well, that, that's impossible for me to say because we're an individual basis, but uh, it's one of the reasons why we created the boosts. So focused energy, I believe, is a, one of a, a, a very special formula that is not getting the attention it deserves. Um, I've, I was playing around with that formula for about 10 years. Um, that has a whole host of, of other adaptogenic herbs, um, two types of uh, ginseng that have been used for tens of thousands of years uh, in traditional Chinese medicine, rhodiola um, uh, from the area of Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Uh, it's one of the great modulators of stress, um, uh, brain activators, uh, which is why we called it focused energy. Um, so. We have it at our fingertips a boost to, to help with adaptogenic uh, herbs uh, uh, more so. Um, and, uh, um, and of course we have Guarana, which is a, the Amazon's uh, alert uh, uh, caffeine full compound. So, um, so the, the other things I will say, adaptogens uh, are my favorite classification of botanicals because they're kind of nature's uh, uh, medicine chest, right? So um, again, the homework for you is look up, you know, uh, Shazandra, I was in China uh, in, the, in a panda protected area, hunting down Shazandra. Uh, and that Shazandra is building like the five, five life forces within the body. Um, so the thing I would say about that is every adaptogen that is in Shakeology, uh, can be utilized uh, in an individual basis if, if you feel your body uh, and or your doctor feels you need it. Um, I, I use adaptogens every day. Um, I use Focus Energy, I boost it, I, I take it on, on its own, I boost it in Shakeology, I add more. Um, I just, you know, there's just no real downside to, uh, these adaptogens. So again, from a legal perspective, I can't really get into telling you what to do with them. Uh, I would love to, um, but I can say that I'm an avid fan. Um, uh, they feel like my children, uh, and no one is really better than the other, uh, which is why we have some of the, I mean, we literally have the greatest adaptogens in there. I mean, I mean, Chaga is my dog's name, so that will give you an idea of how revered I am of that uh, godfather of mushrooms. Um, that one's a fantastic one to take on a regular basis. It kind of has a little of that um, woody kind of coffee-like flavor. Um, so that's a fantastic one um, that if you wanted to take more. So anyway, um, that's about as much as I can say about it, but um, uh, let me just move on then to number four. Um, okay, so uh, vegan on vegan Shakeology formulas, it's a good question. Why is there no added B12? Everyone is diff well, the, 
and there is uh, one, uh, so if there's one required vitamin, uh, vegan people, uh, B12 uh, is one that um, uh, definitely is something that we need to be aware of. Let me just um, answer that in a couple of different ways. Great question. Uh, we are on an individual basis. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, you you need very little. You just need um, you need consistent amounts of it. So let's understand B12 a second. Well, again, these are so good questions. Uh, each question I could take up to 30 minutes without even without even uh, uh, trying. So <laughs> so I'm, this is gonna have you guys wanting more. Uh, call me back another time. Um, so B12. B12 actually uh, is bioaccumulated in meat. It is not coming from meat, okay? So people say, well, vegan and they're lacking B12. Well, the meat you eat is bioaccumulated. It's accumulating in whatever animal you're eating, right? Um, so it's not the source of B12, okay? B12 source is from is from the soil, it's from the microbiological system. So <clears throat> by, by just growing plants, and if I don't clean them uh, enough, I'm getting micrograms of B12 in healthy soil. Uh, the problem is that the food that we're eating uh, has been uh, monocropped, the microbiological activity in soil has gone down, um, and, uh, and by the time it gets to you, it's traveled a very long distance. And uh, unfortunately, some food gets radiated and uberly cleaned. So we're actually not in touch with that soil. So in fact, from not fully cleaned organic soil, you get the microbiologics uh, that help to create and uh, promote B12. So, um, I'm a vegan, you don't have to be, it's not my pitch for being vegan, but we have to understand, I am a person that wants to eliminate the middlemen, um, so I'm not going to go to animals to get B12 when the animals are not producing the B12. So, to answer your question, we're all on an individual basis. Um, and at this point, um, because of such a small amount, um, we decided not to put it in um, into the vegan formulas. We decided that all the vegan formulas, we would leave the micronutrient richness to the whole uh, ingredients themselves and not add in the additional vitamins and minerals. So it's really up to you. I always eat the vegan formulas. I eat a, a wide variety of plants. Um, I get tested every year just because I think that's appropriate uh, in this day and age to make sure where your vitamins, minerals, and nutrients um, out are. Uh, and I don't require to take uh, extra uh, of some of the uh, vitamins and minerals. So, um, so we decided to leave it kind of in its, Isabel and I uh, decided to leave the vegan formulas as is, as a plant produced them uh, in that formula. So anyway, that's, that's kind of the, the answer to that. Um, and also there's some great studies that show that circulating B12 uh, with uh, with vegans is higher than the circulating usable B12 in meat eaters. So there's some other pathway stuff there that just because you're eating meat doesn't mean you will um, be able to use some of that B12 as well. But again, big topic. Okay, so let's cruise on here. Is there one question that's better than the other? Um, let's see here. I can also look uh, if you guys want to, uh, let me see. Uh, do you have one, Scotty, that you wanna? 
I got obviously one Jan yeah go ahead no go ahead what were you gonna you can read that one you're gonna read no, I was just going to say the, the, I think everyone's aware of now that the, the vegan uh, cafe latte and vanilla will be uh, in Canada January 26th. Yes, awesome. That's good news. I see some clapping going on in the audience there. I got one last quick question. It was kind of addressed in the first topic that you, that you answered, and then we'll let you go for the night. Uh, but I have someone on. Um, I'm streaming live somewhere else as well, so we got more than just the 47 on here. They asked the yeah. question, um, what is, or their wife was able to drink Shakeology for a while, which was happened to be over a year, and then all of a sudden started feeling nauseous um, mm. as of recently. What would, what would your suggestion be in, I, I know you don't understand her personally or any of her other habits, yeah. but what would be the first place you would go for an answer for that person specifically? Uh, it, there's so many, uh, variables. It would be impossible to say because you don't know, um, if the person is stressed, if they've eaten something that has derailed their digestive system to when put them in that answer to the first question. So now they have inflammatory issues in their bloating gas, all of these things, um, disruptions in their normal ways of metabolizing and breaking down food and, and uptake. Um, nausea, uh, you know, that, that to me signals potentially um, um, some hormonal fluctuations. And uh, the hormonal fluctuations can throw off everything. Uh, that can throw off digestion. Uh, that can throw off blood pressure. So I would look into uh, thyroid, uh, hypothyroidism uh, potentially. Uh, check the blood pressure. Uh, those are the things that I would look towards first. So you can't blow off these kinds of things. The body never makes a mistake. It always is giving you information. Unfortunately, our systems are, are geared to just taking away your systems. So it's very important for someone like this to listen to what is the overall message there that in all intents and purposes she shouldn't be nauseous from taking in a superfood um, such as this but she is so then it's not necessarily it that's causing uh, the nausea uh, but potentially a systemic problem very very rarely um, when all systems are working and the digestive system is not compromised, that someone would be reacting to one of these ingredients. There's, of course, things like peanuts, aflatoxins that people legitimately can die from, right? Um, so that exists. So you don't want to rule that out. But I think the point is that uh, we need to not blow off these um, reactions and start working with people uh, that are not gonna throw a pill at you uh, and not uh, try to get rid of your symptoms per se and start peeling back the layers so that you can uh, get to the core of optimizing your body. But for this person, I would say the hormonal, uh, there's a hormonal fluctuation, doesn't feel right. There's a, a potential thyroid, hypothyroidism, uh, blood pressure, but again, there's so many variables that it's, it would be hard to, but you definitely don't want to be doing something like drinking Shakeology and having it cause you this issue. Don't demonize the thing that, you know, don't demonize the symptom causer, but try to get at uh, the bigger issue because these things won't go away. You can take all the drugs you want to make symptoms go away, but what's happening is there a beast that's being fed that will pop up later. Um, so I think the mentality around just healthcare, which is why, you know, listen, you guys are coaches. This is, this is something that uh, it, it just seems to me that learning and educating around health uh, is super important. Uh, uh, it's beneficial because we all have bodies and it's also, you don't have to be a nutritionist. Um, but, but also supporting people way beyond 
um, uh, just just as care of of people because if I heard that person, I would shift into a gear of like, I don't care about Shakeology right now. I care about this person and this person, these are the places that I would, uh, I would offer concern and then it's up to them to do what they want. That person could maybe then go uh, figure that out for themselves if they chose, come back to you in a year and go, hey, you know what? Thanks for supporting me on that, not pushing your agenda and uh, I did get it solved. I did. I was low in um, uh, my thyroid. Uh, I did get it corrected. And now you know what? I want to try that Shakeology. So that to me is uh, big picture type of interactions with people um, of, of kind of uh, heart first, care first. Um, and then people will pick up on that. Because listen, I've never sold anything in my life. Uh, I've never sold Shakeology. I I, I share about it, uh, uh, and 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 if people don't want it at that point, well, that's that's on them. So anyway, Absolutely. a little tangent, but. <laughs> but I hope, hopefully that, hopefully that helps. Yeah, that helped a bunch, Darren. We appreciate you giving, sharing your time with us. And w if you ever want to share any extra knowledge, just let me know and we'll set it up and you can talk about whatever you want to us because, because we love learning. Um, I, I love the advice you gave at the end uh, about putting people first and, and getting just the overall message about getting to the root of uh, the issues and, and truly helping people. And I love that you're doing that for us and for people uh, all around you. And, and we'll take that example from you and go out and help other people as well. So thanks, Darren. Right um, before I let you go, I got to remind everybody we have Isabel, co-creator uh, with us on Friday at uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, Friday night. So Friday date night is a call with Isabel. Um, she works very closely with Darren on on all the stuff that you learned about today. So thank you guys. Yeah, and she, we'll see you. The best. All right. Thank you, Bye. everyone.